Tom Bayo existed? He's been playing mostly Bayo. No, I'm weeklies. talking green Bayo skin. Oh no, it's nice. I don't know how you didn't know it existed. It's it's pretty cash. I guess it's not as like rambunctious as like the bright red Bayo. So maybe you're not aware of it, but I think it's a clean skin. I think Bayo has a very unfair advantage in this matchup. After all, she brought four guns to a sword fight. <laughs> I mean, what did Robin bring though? Robin's got fire and lightning and books. I mean, it's just a book. What's it gonna do? Kill you? It, yeah, it absolutely can. But right now we got a pretty darn close game, but Casper getting witch timed. Gonna get out here, Casper, of course, the Corrin. Jahira, the Marth. We got a full MSU color palette out here. Yeah, we've got that nice white and green going on. Mm -hmm. We've got the male Corrin, too. It's a good choice. That's not something you see every day. It's a good choice. It is indeed. Fairly even game so mm -hmm. far. Chirpumple had a nice advantage in low percent, but that changes right as I say it. They're all at, like, relatively Casper. low percents. Oh, making it out. The kick actually keeping him uh, alive there. The up B didn't, not going to save him. Did get kill sparks, though. Now I'm close to death, but not before he finishes off both of them. Bayonetta, fairly light character, mm -hmm. just about in kill percent of most of these deadly oh. moves. Oh, definitely in kill percent. Listen here. Tipper anything hits like a truck. A lot of the options from Corrin also just hit super duper hard. Especially counter. Oh yeah, that counter's ridiculous. Nam, shield getting a bit low, decides mm -hmm. it's time to take it to the skies and maybe not get his shield broken. Very smart Yeah, choice. just uh, let it replenish a little bit while you're hanging out in the air for a bit. And great SDI from Casper just popping right out of that afterburner kick. Absolutely amazing SDI from him, if you ask me. I cannot SDI anything like that. I will die. <laughs> Sometimes it's uh, about which hitbox you get on the afterburner kick as well. Like there's hits that connect better and worse. So sometimes he's not getting the optimal hitbox for the bail. Uh oh, that's a Chirpumple great counter. Pumple trying to get the forward smash after the I mean, down throw. But that's the optimal punish, but obviously you can sneak a, a counter in there. So it's dangerous. Indeed. Especially Everything feels dangerous. Unless you know it's for a fact that it's a true combo against uh, a character with a devastating counter like that. Like, if you're slow, you're going to get countered and you're going to likely die or eat a massive damage. Indeed. And this game's still very, very close, mm -hmm. despite being, what, two and a half minutes in now? Yeah, roughly. Almost three. Uh, right there, we do see the, the neutral are trying to catch Casper. Not going to happen. But trying to take him off the top. But Casper getting a little bit of revenge, dropping off the bottom. Punishing the nair. Oh, that was so good oh. from Jahira and Casper. Casper getting two up air kills. Well, back you saw back. the the backer from Jahira that set up perfectly into Casper's up air, didn't you? Very, very nice synergy for mm -hmm. both of them. And we have a very even game here, right down to the wire. Final stocks for both teams. Casper, Elena getting that nice down throw into nair. Rack it on the percent. That's mm -hmm. important. Very important. Getting the forward throw. Just trying to toss uh, the grabbed Bayo out of there. Just put her out of danger's way. Mm -hmm. Try and keep her from losing that stock sooner than she wants to. Chirp getting all the grabs. It's kind of wild. And another counter attempt from Casper. Chirp too savvy. In the backer. Going to finish Jahira off. Landing that Levin Sword back here, a very powerful move. Getting the gr oh, no punish. Great spot dodge from Casper. Oh, that was so Tries cheeky. to counter the forward air, but eats a punish for it. Going to flap them wings. Are we going to be able to grab the ledge? If we can grab the ledge, we should be fine, yeah. Very nicely done. Corrin up B, not, while not... Oh, no! no! The oh, double kill! Yeah. The... The drop off into jump up counter on the oh. Robin down smash. It was too telegraphed right there. That is unfortunate for the green team. One million IQ play from Casper. W what was I saying earlier? Corrin counter. Hits like a truck. You, you did say that. It's very good. Uh, so game two. The key adaptation is obviously get countered less. Running it right back to Smashville. No character swaps. Nothing. We just run it right back. We want more. Hungry. What? I am incredibly excited for this a second time because this is a very entertaining set to watch mm -hmm. so far. Oh yeah, it was right down to the wire. 
Uh, doubles, I love doubles just because you have such intense action 100% of the time. And there's so much more innovation and more room with combos and mm -hmm. such. And play in general. Uh-oh. And that's a dead Jahira off of them Elwins. A very unfortunate early stock lost. I mean, I, it was it was a skill stock take if you ask me. The Robin was down there doing doing mean things to Marth. Unfortunate for the blue team. Yeah, absolutely. They're both doing very well to mm -hmm. keep the pressure on and keep them against the side of the stage of the mm -hmm. Smashville, making them approach. Oh yeah, Trapumple taking up most of the center stage and holding it there, keeping the white team very confined. But now we're seeing a little bit of flip of the table here where the green team's kind of stuck in the corner uh, with both of them being at high percents. But they've done quite a number on Jahira and he is already almost at kill percents as well. Indeed. Just about everyone now at roughly a kill mm -hmm. percent. I think Casper is just a little bit of checkmate range. If I mean, Casper just died. It doesn't matter. Yep. Now um, he's gone. I think maybe the back throw hitbox uh, killed him off there. I didn't quite get to see. Oh, Nam getting the witch time. Let's see mm -hmm. what he gets off of this. A nice 29%. <laughs> That's clean. Ooh, the, unfortunately, mm -hmm. the Arc Thunder killing Nam right there. And that forward smash is going to finish off Chirp as well. So, green team not out of the woods yet here on this game number two. But the Marth is primed to die here. So we'll see how long Jahira hangs on with this second stock. Jahira, I would, I have to commend him right here. Mm -hmm. He lost his stock early on, and you see he's at 121 now mm -hmm. as Marth and managing to keep himself alive. Mm -hmm. That is something you always want to see in your doubles partner, mm -hmm. someone who can keep themselves I mean, alive. Keeping, for three keeping that composure, yeah, is very important. And that might be a dead Marth. This is a dangerous spot for him. Yeah, he just... Shield breakers in the other direction because he didn't have his jump. I would like to see him maybe try to come back just because he does have a teammate and now his teammate just dropped off the side there. So this is a really good spot for the green team. But still mu very much winnable for the blue team mm -hmm. too. Oh yeah. But not if miscues like that continue to happen. Casper unfortunately forward smashing Jahira there. And now Jahira getting bullied off the side of the stage by Nam. Marth still able to recover them. Mm -hmm. And Bayo going out there with the super kicks. And the Witch Twist, Witch keeping that jump, though, that's very important. Will not quite take it. Mm -hmm. Very good at keeping that jump. Very important on most sorties. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Marth having a fantastic vertical recovery, but a pretty darn mediocre uh, horizontal recovery. Nam took that stock very nicely off the top with an up air. Now let's see if maybe Casper can make something work, or if Nam and Chirp mm -hmm. Humble will just keep it clean. Take it to game sure. number three. That's what they're working towards right now. But maybe Casper will have another crazy counterplay. Maybe. He's up against a lot of magic here with the witch and the mage. <laughs> and the bear coming out. And uh, there we go, pin. Hitting him with, with the classic, the classic Corrin, side B, kick him right in the jaw. <laughs> Absolutely. Dark Thunder coming out. It's going to get stuffed out by that disjoint. Holding onto the stock very mm -hmm. nicely, sitting at a pretty 110. This could be the end, though, if yep. they play this right. Nam trying to be Hunter the Hungry here. Casper. And just limiting Casper's recovery options. Great fair from Trapumple. Going to finish off that stock and take that game. We're going to game three. Very nice job on Nam and Trapumple's part right there at the end to cover his options for mm -hmm. recovery. Trapumple was ready if he tried to recover high like he did to deliver. A oh, he was. The kill. He was forced to recover high because if he would have got hit by that Nair or a Witch Twist, Corrin would have been forced too low without the uh, rec without the double jump to get the height necessary to come back. So we are going to game three here, uh, and I'm excited. I don't know. It's possible that Casper switches. He plays a plethora of characters. He plays Mac and Ryu more notably than his Corrin, I would say at this point, unless he's put in more effort very recently with the Corrin. He is also, if I recall, never mind. I was gonna mention his cloud that he has been practicing, but he's gonna be practicing your cloud too? Yes. My man plays all the top tiers that isn't Bayo. Yep. So they're taking it to Battlefield this time. What do you think about this stage pick? Uh 
it's it's pretty darn neutral for the the four characters. I imagine all of them feel pretty okay on it. There's not like a whole lot wonky about the stage. Uh, maybe Bayo gets the most out of it by a hair, just because you can reset on the top platform, putting you that much closer to the top blast zone. Chirpumple nicely covering mm -hmm. for Nam, letting him get right back up on mm -hmm. that stage so he can exert pressure again. Absolutely. And right here, we got Chirp, once again, holding that center stage. Funnily enough, Nam and Chirpumple at the same percent until I say something about it, Caster's Curse. Yup, it absolutely happens. Great forward tilt, good get off me option from Chirpumple. And now that Arc Thunder putting on heavy shield pressure. Almost killing the Marth with that mm. up air. Jahira's got to be careful here. That Outsmash is going to do it. The giant demon fist coming through the portal, just clipping them right mm. on the belly. A and there's another Lunar one. Kick, reads the tech roll back, up smash. Though I guess that would also cover get up. <laughs> Uh-oh, Nam trying to take Marth all the way up. We going for a ride. Almost no. pre-patch Bayonetta. <laughs> Not quite there. I like how Casper got a little bit of revenge, too. Which timing that pin was mm -hmm. very well done. I mean, but also activating that pin was smart because you didn't get to see much of a punish from Nam because the hitbox knocked him away momentarily. Ooh, almost breaking that shield. Good play from Jahira, but going to get witch-timed. But the down tilt into up smash not going to connect. I think that might ha have to do with the witch time timer. He's used it a bit more than you'd normally see recently, so we didn't have that slow for long enough for the up smash to connect. I mean, the down tilt just didn't come out like what? Like the hitbox, I don't think it gave him the correct one because he, I think he might have sour spotted it there because he went at like a 45 degree angle. Oh. Ooh, that's going to be a dead witch. Chirp still alive though, 150%. Showing that he has the guts to just challenge that bayonetta with an up air mm -hmm. while they're up in the blast zone just about i mean if, once you know you're underneath the bayo what is the bayo gonna do maybe which time but there should be out of witch twist at that point uh now i'm gonna make it back nice bayo point. has an incredible recovery An incredible recovery when you have your double jump mm -hmm. and great fair from chirp just forcing casper off stage immediately after he burns that counter Casper, up B taking mm -hmm. the first arc Elwyn so he can mm -hmm. get back on. Ooh. Just running right out of the up smash mm -hmm. to grab his partner. Jahira putting so. on heavy pressure on Nam right now. But switching his target to Chirp. This is this is dangerous. Uh, Casper, a, a dangerous spot to lose his stock. And there it is, that forward smash. Going to force the blue team down both to one stock each. Whereas Robin at a pretty healthy two stocks, Bayo looking a little sickly, but still maintaining that second stock. Nam playing that off stage amazingly, mm -hmm. pushing Casper off as far as he can, and as soon as he gets back on mm -hmm. stage, he witch times the mark. Right. And now we've got the white team having all the stage control. Got to find a way to kill this Robin. Killing the Robin would be. Very good for them right mm -hmm. now, as Robin is going to be wanting to hang back, especially with that rage he's starting to get. Mm -hmm. And his kill options are just going to become that much more scary. Yep, more and more, more potent kill options. You're going to get more and more scared of the back air landing, the up air landing, maybe even the sour spot down air at the left. Mm -hmm. And the up air, and that's going to do it. So that's pretty commanding for them, uh... Game number three here. Good stuff to Nam and Chirpumple.